Hello lovely, how are you? It's Yasmin and uh, in this week's blog post what I wanted to talk to you about was whether you've actually created a business or whether you have a J-O-B. <laughs> the reason why I really am passionate about this is because I, mean, I came from a 12 year co corporate career and so for me having my own business was the ultimate way of really having the lifestyle that I wanted to you know, spend time with my children and do lots of fun things and go traveling. And then what happens is you start a business and then you actually create a job instead of a business because you're always having to be there. You know, it's you can never switch off. You know, you have no downtime. You feel like you're working all the time and you're really stressed to the max. Whereas if you're in a job, you can go home at the end of the day most times and just switch off and not think about it but if you're a business owner it's it's a different animal entirely you could be waking up at three o'clock in the morning and think oh, how am I gonna build my list today or what am I gonna do or how am I gonna get the money coming in so it's a very different animal you know having a business and having a job that you go to and if you are wanting that lifestyle and you want your business to really provide that lifestyle for you then there are some things that you need to be really, really focused on to make sure that you are creating that freedom business and that you're not actually creating the worst boss you've ever had. OK, so this is what I want to share with you today. And the way that you run a freedom business is that you need parts of your business to run automatically. And when you implement systems and processes in your business that allow you to step aside and step away you know, if you want to go on holidays or if you just want to take some time out or you're sick, you know, you need your business to carry on. If you're if you always have to be there for your business to run, that is a recipe for disaster. That is not good. Trust me, hon. That is not good. So you need parts of your business to run automatically. And one of those parts is lead generation. So bringing new leads into the business to help you create the income that you want and you need that lead generation piece to be working with minimal intervention from you of course you're going to have to do some work up front to get it set up but then once it's out there you know that's really going to help you to drive the growth of your business because growing your email list is a key element of growing your business because these are people who have put their hand up and said that they are really interested in what you are doing. So this has always got to be part of your strategy and your focus. OK, so there are three things that you need in place to enable you to actually um, automate the lead generation piece of your business. OK, so first of all, the thing that you really need to start off with and because you need there's no point having a beautiful shop door. And, you know, looking all sparkly and glittery and then have nothing behind that. OK, so what you need is a way to collect email addresses. It's so simple, but it can be the piece that people forget. And so things like, um, you know, there's technology out there like Aweber, MailChimp, Constant Contact, Infusionsoft, uh, Office Autopilot, Entreport. Oh, there's a whole stack of them. But you basically need a way to collect email addresses okay because that's where you're going to house this community that's how you're going to talk to them on a regular basis the second thing that you need is a highly desirable free gift that is going to be something that's really uh, valuable to them that's going to give them something really really um, exciting or useful um, for their business their life whatever your product or service is and so you really need something that they will just go, oh, I really want that. It could be a template. It could be a checklist. It could be a quiz. Um, it could be a free report. It could be a masterclass, a free masterclass. It could be a free audio. There's tons of ideas. But you need something that they're going to think, oh, I really want that. Really important. Don't just say, you know, here, you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. That's boring as hell. And there's not really I can't really see the value in that. So I'm very unlikely to give my email address to somebody who's just promising me a newsletter. I actually want something that I can tangibly read or hear or see and get the benefit from. And then 
The third thing that you need is somewhere to actually house that. So whether it's a, um, a little sign up box on your website, um, a squeeze page, a landing page. It's basically a page, as simple as it's a page where you can tell them about your free gift. You get their name and you get their email address and that connects up to the system that collects the emails and boom, you are now growing your list and you are now automating the lead generation piece of your business that really helps you to grow that freedom business. Because once you've got those leads coming in, you can then nurture them. They get to know you, they get to like you, they get to trust you. And it's that trust element that actually makes them want to pay you for your service really important you can't skip this process but you need to make sure that it's working for you while you're sleeping while you're on holidays while you're having a baby you know it's happened to me when I was having my little baby girl like I still had leads coming into my business really really important if you want a freedom business if you want a business and not a job then you do need to automate your business and these are my top tips on how to automate the lead generation piece and the piece that would be require your intervention is obviously where that goes, you know, where you actually publicize, whether it's on Facebook ads, whether it's um, on videos, um, on YouTube or Instagram or any other ways of how you actually get that uh, opt in offer, that special sign up offer where they can get that free gift. That's the bit that requires your intervention. But isn't it really cool to put that effort in at the beginning? And then you just have to make sure that it gets out there and you can build those lists and bring those people into you and to grow your community. So let me know how you get on. I'd love to know whether, you know, have you already started this journey? Where are you on this journey? And ask yourself this question. This is the one question that I want you to ask yourself. Are you building a business or have you created a job for yourself? Comment below and if you're if you're watching this or reading this on yasminvorogy.com then comment below and if you're watching or reading this anywhere else then make sure that you come over to yasminvorogy.com and share your thoughts and um, if you've enjoyed this video then please share with your friends and colleagues so that we can really live a life of joy and build the businesses that we deserve. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care.